everyone, this is Chris Gomez and right now we're going to take a look at how to download and install the Unity game engine. I'm going to open Google and show you just how easy it is to find the Unity game engine. I think even just typing Unity should bring it up for me. Unity 3D will for sure. So the Unity game engine is the top search result and it's at unity3d.com. So when we go there, we're presented with their homepage where they are announcing Unity 5. It's not available yet, so today we're going to download and install Unity 4.3, the latest release. First I'm going to click on the buy link to show you a little bit about Unity. The Unity game engine is free to use, and then a paid version is Unity Pro, which is a subscription model of $75 a month or $1,500 and it's yours to keep. And as you can see, Unity exports to many different platforms. When we come down to the add-on section, we can see that there's an iOS export, an Android export, and you pay a little bit more for those. But that it does say over here that Windows Phone 8 and Windows Store apps are included in Unity Pro. Now that's a little misleading because what we're going to find, and the reason why I'm downloading Unity to show you, is that with the free version of Unity, we will be able to export to the Windows platforms. So I think Unity is a good game engine to get started with because there is a free path to take you to publishing and it integrates with the free Visual Studio Express editions that you may have seen us download in another video. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking on the download button to get to this page and all you have to do is click this button, download Unity. This will download the free version for you says thanks for downloading Unity and as you can see it's a one gigabyte download so we're gonna use the little bit of web magic here and speed that up and as you can see I already have the Unity setup waiting for me here on the desktop so all I have to do is double click on it to start installing Unity 3D this is a very easy installation click Next accept the license agreement I'm gonna go ahead and leave just the default installation options. It includes an example project. It installs the Unity Web plugin and mono develop the scripting engine IDE. Put it in the default location and it'll get started. And like I said, it is a pretty large download, about four gigabytes. So we are going to fast forward through this. Just a few words about some of the things that you've installed. The Unity Web Player is a plugin and it is designed to play Unity game projects on the web. But in Unity 5, they have announced that there will be WebGL support, so we're heading towards uh, the free and open web, the plug-in free webs model, and it'll be fantastic to take your Unity games straight to the web, and that opens up a lot of great self-publishing possibilities. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this install. Be right back on the other side of the installation to start Unity for the first time. So the installation is done, and it's a piece of cake to get started. We already have Run Unity checked, so I'll click Finish, and the Unity game engine opens up, getting ready to show us the editor window. So when Unity opens, you can see that you have uh, a startup screen that you can get rid of at any time by clearing this checkbox, but these are some great links for you to take a look at. You can look at the Unity manual for a little quick startup guide here. You can also uh, look at some video tutorials and they'll really help you get started. Um, it takes you right to the Unity Forum, which is a pretty big community, and the Unity Asset Store, which is something that we'll definitely be looking at in future videos. I'm just going to go ahead and close it for now. So the last thing I wanted to do was give you an idea of what the Unity Engine is capable of. And you'll remember that during installation we selected to go ahead and install the default project. That project is called Angry Bots. It's just a quick example of what the game engine can do, and I have it loaded here. If you do install the example project and you're looking for it, you may have a little trouble finding it, especially on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, so the trick is, is when you open the Unity Project Wizard, I have some recently opened projects here. You won't have anything in this box. So when you click Open Other, you will go to your installation drive and in your users folder, you know, this is my current user, but the user that you're looking for is the public user. So C users public, public documents, then Unity projects, and here it is, the Angry Bots example project. 
One thing that you will notice if you're coming from other environments like Visual Studio and you're used to looking for a csproj file or an sln file is that Unity projects are folders so you can even see the button here says select folder there isn't an actual project file that you would look for and all you would do is select folder and it will load up Angry Bots for you you can take a quick look at it we'll do that now and one of the things you'll notice about Unity is that you have the ability to play the game to test it out right here inside the editor so you know here's the main character and I'm gonna click play and what the game's gonna do is initialize it get it set up and you're gonna see that this is a third-person shooter type game with a top-down kind of view I can click the left mouse button to shoot got a robot coming after me now and it can start exploring around you can hear there's, there's some sound effects going this door will open animates down and this is a 3d game even though you get a top-down kind of perspective See, I'm shooting over this robot because I haven't gone down this ramp yet. Leaves a little uh, decal mark there. And so, you know, the engine's pretty powerful. And just think that we can export these kinds of games out to uh, devices and then try to get them into different stores. So what we're going to do for now is go ahead and pause this, which you could do. And, you know, you have your whole environment set up with all the different objects in this scene. And in later videos, we'll take a look at how to, how to actually build games in the Unity game engine. If you click File Build Settings, you'll see that the different platforms available to you include the web player, but they also include iOS, Android, Windows Store apps, Windows Phone 8. Pretty, pretty impressive that uh, all you have to do is come here, pick your platform, build the project, and you will get a solution with your... Uh, your project ready to go. That's all for now in installing the Unity game engine, so get out there, get the engine, and make some games.